Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. Uh, there are actually quite a few Sudokus that I need to present to you guys, but it's just that I'm not getting the time. There's one wonderful classic by Tom Collier, which hopefully I'll be covering in the next couple of days. There's one little killer by the 15 year old prodigy Nityant of India, which I need to cover. I was actually supposed to do that, but it so happened that this Windoku Sudoku was hosted on my website yesterday, and this was a comparatively a hard version. And now most people may know the variation, and some of you might definitely know the tricks of this, but I thought this was one that I should be presenting first because I'm going to focus on quite a few tips and techniques that are utilized while solving a window coup, whether it be an easy one or a hard one. So what are the rules of the Sudoku? Rules are that rules of classic Sudoku apply. That is no row, column, or a three by three box. Can have any, uh, should have rather all the digits one to nine without any repetition. But when we come to window coup, all right? We have these four gray boxes marked. So basically what it means is the each of this box is like an extra region which will contain the digits one to nine. However, though we see four extra regions here, one thing a solver should always remember is that there are five more extra regions which are hidden in the grid. Now, I'm sure most of you are already aware of that, but this is for the benefit of all the people who are new to this variant and who would love to understand that. So I'm going to mark out each way extra region, which we will use when we are solving the Sudoku. So let's have a look at this. Now I'll mark each. So first I'll use, do you see these three cells beside this? Then there are three more cells between these two boxes, and then we have these three cells. Now, all these nine cells which are marked in dark gray, or rather, let me use this dark gray. Yeah, that darker color is better. This is one extra region. Similarly, I'll use the green color here. This forms my second extra region. These are all hidden regions. Next, let's use the blues. You got it right. We use the vertical direction. So these nine blue cells will form another extra region of one to nine. Let's go with the reds. And this was the fourth hidden. But I, if you remember, I mentioned there are five regions. So let's go with yellow. Now these nine cells the nine yellow cells. These form another extra region. Now you might have wondered why are we cluttering this grid with so many extra regions. While solving, you will see how these help us. Because I know that if I have a digit in one of these blue cells, it can never repeat. So let's take some example and say I have a two and a three here, I have a one here, I have a one here, I have a one here. All right, this is just an example. Now, by classic rules, one, one, one has to be in these three middle cells, right? We have a one, so this cannot be a one, so one has to be a part of these two cells, correct? But I know these green cells, they form an extra region, and since I already have a one here in the green cells, I can blindly eliminate the one from there and safely place the one here. And this is how we use all these extra regions when we are solving the actual Sudoku. Clear? Visualize these extra five regions. We'll see how we are going to use that when we solve the actual window coup. Right? So, 
let's go ahead and see the actual puzzle that was there on the website now as i said this was rated as a hard a sudoku but nonetheless we'll see how this helps us out so the link if you want to try this is again in the description of the video right now how do we begin where do we begin rather all right this nine has to be here nine nine now this region already has a nine nine can't be here so i get a nine here nine by classic rules nine cannot be here this region again has a nine correct so this becomes a nine and this also is a nine but i have a nine six nine six okay we have a six here so that's my six with a nine here and this becomes a nine clear this four cannot be in these two it cannot be here because of the box it cannot be here so for the region the first extra region the four has to be in one of these two correct let's mark it out six is in these two but when i look at box one six cannot be here six cannot be here so the six is locked here which pushes the six here clear six 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 has to be in these two right now comes our extra region the three cells to the left of these boxes the three middle and this since i already have a six in this extra region i can safely eliminate that six and place the six and this is how these additional re hidden regions play a very very important role when you're solving a window group believe me this will make your solving so much easier all right so that was the first bit so sevens will be here by classic rule now let's see eight in this region cannot be here it cannot be here because we already got the eight in the column this cannot be an eight so this has to be an eight which makes this a four six not here not here and it's not even here so this will be a six we can safely eliminate that the sixes are complete again this five cannot be here so this is a five and i require two and a three to fill up this region i got a three so that's a two and a three which makes this a one and a five right we finish off one region now in this region i am missing out two three and four three cannot be here three cannot be here so that leaves me with only one place for a three which makes this a two four correct now let's see this what are missing this is a five seven one two five seven one two five oh sorry one cannot be here we already got this correct now again let's look at this extra region between around the first two extra regions we already have a five here right which is part of these three cells so if i cannot be here this also cannot be a five so we place the seven so you see how important it is to visualize those extra regions and use them here so now when i look at this region i have a one i don't have a two or a three i have four five six seven and a nine so one two three and eight so if this two and eight are gone this is a one three this is a one eight one two eight and this extra region again would be two three and eight correct but when you look at this eight eight cannot be here i got an eight so this is not an eight so my eight is locked here seven is locked here and the one is locked in these for the extra region right good enough so i have a two locked here that's fine now what else next let's have a look at this three pi three pi now for column eight this three five is already there but where would the other digit come whichever one comes here it cannot be here because we know this is a seven or an eight correct 
it cannot be here which means this has to be a 3 and a, or a 5 which makes this a pair so this has to be a 27 278 to complete the row so this becomes a triplet clear good what next 8 8 8 and 8 but again this we have this extra region so the 8 cannot be here again start visualizing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these are all unique set 1 to 9 so with this 8 here I know for sure this cannot be an 8 right so 4 cannot be there so this is a 1 2 5 and the 4 has to be here so this will be 1 2 4 5 all right and this will be 1 3 5 so now what else oh yes this is a 3 5 1 5 2 cannot be here so means the 2 is for row 8 is locked in columns 4 and 5 correct let's put the 2 4 7 pencil marks here Correct. Now this is where another break in comes. When I look at column one, the two is logged in rows four and uh, sorry, row six and seven. Correct. Which means both these uh, row six and seven column one are part of this extra region. Correct. So irrespective of where the two comes here, I cannot have a two here which means this has to be a 2 which makes this a 4 so you see again we use the extra region to eliminate one more place and identify another digit clear 2 2 this has to be a 2 which makes this a 3 1 8 7 1 8 so this is a 3 5 3 5 1 cannot be here so that's a 2 5 2 5 1 5 and 1 because by classic rules one can't be here one can't be here this is the pair on 2 5 so this is a 2 5 2 5 and a 3 I require 1 and a 2 we got a 1 so this is a 2 this is a 1 and this is a 4 7 which again gives me a pair of 4 7 here correct but we got a 5 so this has to be a 3 this was a 5 with a 3 here 3 3 this can't be a 3 because we can't have a digit repeating in that region so this becomes a 3 this becomes a 3 we have a 4 75 again 5 cannot be here so this is a 5 now, when I look at these 3, 6, 2, 9, 5, 1, 8, which means this also has to be a 4, 7 based on that last extra region that we had. Remember, which pushes the 1 here, and this would also be again a 4, 7. But we got a 7 here, so this is a 2, this is an 8 with a 4, 7. And the last two digits here are 2 and a 5, right? So that's a 5 with a 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. So that's a 4, 7, 4, 7, 4, 7, 4, 7, 4, 7, 8. And the last digit, 5. And that's how you actually solve a window proof never go by the given digits or the only four extra regions that are present as i said there are five more hidden regions use them to the fullest and believe me solving a window coup becomes a piece of cake hope this video was informative and helpful to you all i hope it really opened up a lot of solving avenues for you so once again before i go i thought i'll just quickly show you these extra regions that i have marked out on the window group.
try to memorize these patterns because these are going to help you a lot when you're solving a window group. So, till the next time, happy solving.